Michaels, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Uh, sit down, Jack. It's over. <laughs> I know how to handle it. <laughs> and May 5th, you can be sure I won't be there. <laughs> Honored guests, where the rabbi, and uh, I'm here tonight to kiss you Hefner's ass. That's what I'm. Because you, there was a time when I was invited to this mansion, and I was a big guy in your life. And then suddenly I got married and was devoted to my wife, and you canceled me. <laughs> As soon as I lost that horny image, you got rid of it. Tonight is a night I could have missed very easily. The man sitting before me, I don't know, with the new haircut. Good to see you, General von Steinman. Some bitch became a Nazi. His father, as his soul, was a Jew, which he keeps quiet. His mother was Irish, and we hung out together. We had great times in Washington, D.C., when you said to me, why do you always look for women? <laughs> As you were bopping everything in sight. <laughs> and I see by this turnout, Dawn, that, as it turns out, I'm the biggest name here. <laughs> I never figured that, except for Jimmy Kahn, who... We go back a long time. He gave my kid his first toys, really. When my son was born, Jimmy Kahn did a wonderful mitzvah. He gave my children toys, and we've been in touch ever since. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> his whole life is calling up Francis Ford Coppola, saying, how about Sonny again? <laughs> Why not? I'll be Sonny. I'll come back. Take the bullets out of my ass, and I'll start all over again. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm a friend. It's over. <sighs> He's up in the mountains now in his pajamas trying to figure out who the hell he is. But Jimmy is a great actor. I mean that sincerely. And Dorothy, it's good to see you again. I remember the days when you and Don were married and you kept saying to me, I love him so much. And we all stared at you. <laughs> Biggest unemotional stiff in the world, this man. He's like a Gentile midget running around, searching, hunting. But you know, we, we laugh and we kid. And, and I must say, Gary, you were brilliant. And Jack, you're a fine writer. And Ronnie, huh. But, uh, and Howie, that was cute. The chair bit, great. Just some great bits up here. And Harvey, as always, a depressed, wandering Jew. And, Harvey, I'm not going to lie to you. Carol Burnett doesn't even know you're alive. <laughs> you dumb son of a bitch. We did great things together, Don. I must say, uh, my wife and I uh, go back a lot of years. We haven't seen each other for two or three years now. I saw you once when you had the goatee and... You were trying to be Robert De Niro or something with <laughs> dumb disguises. But you've always been a guy that hasn't been, you know, he's not the kind of man that says, hey, let's have lunch and let's hang out. He doesn't do that. He likes to put a saddle on your ass and ride you around the room for a half hour. <laughs> I've never been a, his dad, rest his soul, was, uh, was a wonderful man. I used to kid him. My father, rest his soul, was uh, also a, a race uh, degenerate and as uh, Don, always at the track and never interest me and uh, he always used to say to me why don't you come out and the one time we went in Brentwood when I lived in Brentwood he said come on out to the track and I want to show you how to bet on horses <laughs> leave it to me and just shut up with your loud Jewish mouth <laughs> I'll handle everything <laughs> and in those days I was like a Jew robot I used to go yeah 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 <laughs> good Don yeah whatever you say uh, the horses are approaching the gate 
the flag is up. And he said, bet on Mary's girl, Shirley's daughter, and Lucy's ass. And we will win a lot of money. And I took, I gave him everything. I used to take it out like a Jew. Jew takes out the wallet and goes, hey, hey the, whatever you want, Don, whatever you want. <laughs> Jeez, I'm loaded tonight. <laughs> Anyway, these are little anecdotes that I tell uh, <laughs> as the camera rolls for no money. I spotted that right off the bat, and your ass, you're going to pay me for this. <laughs> but I say on behalf of my mother, Etta, rest her soul, who loved you, my wife, Barbara, who loved you and still does, thank God, and I do. We don't see each other, but when I walked in tonight and I put my arms around you, I said, my God. The years and the laughs we had together. You can't take that away from us, big guy. And I tell you this from my heart. You're the most, one of the, in my life, a comedic mind that always made me laugh. Laugh to the point where I said, gee, stop it, I can't stand it. You are that good. And at 75, you've got a world ahead of you. And you and I have memories together. And let's pray to God we can have many, many more. I love you, and I tell you from my heart, you're the best, and hang in there. God bless you.